How to successfully remove an image or a photo from Google. In this updated video tutorial, I'm going to share with you core concepts and insights and processes for removing an image from Google. Do keep in mind that I've published a blog post in terms of must knows before you make a claim for removal. Google is a search engine that operates globally. What's very important to understand when we want to remove an image or a photo from Google is that each country that Google operates in, providing its products and services, the governing laws within that country protect you according to the laws that you have in place in your country. That means, for example, if you're a citizen of a European Union country, then Google has different policies for you to remove your image. For example, right to be forgotten, which is a European Union data protection law that protects you. In Australia, we have different laws compared to USA or Canada or elsewhere in the world. Now, once we understand that and we have contacted the website owner, they didn't respond or they said, no, nah, we're not going to remove the photo or an image. You then contacted the web hosting company. You know, you can explore that option and you've got no response. Now you're thinking, OK, that image is still on the Internet. It can be found through Google. What do I do? Let's go and see. The help section of Google says removing content from Google. It's an option for you to explore when you have conducted other methods for removing that content. And at this moment, you are still unsuccessful and that image can be found through Google. Then you have an option to say, hmm, you know what? I've explored all the other options. Then this is what Google says to do. Definitely read through removing content from Google help section. Here we have terms of service and content policies. It's important to definitely read through that. And I understand that with Google, the more you look into the policies, it can get cumbersome and difficult to understand sometimes. So I'm not going to cover these, but rather just show you what can be done here. Here it says, what Google product does your request relate to? Here we have Google search, then we have Google images. What's the difference? The difference is, if the image we're talking about can be found through normal Google web search, then that's Google search. Because sometimes you may search for your name, or details of that photo and it can only be found through Google web search and if you then go to images it cannot be found so therefore first search Google web search can the image be found there and conduct the same search in images.google.com and if it can be found through there only or it can be found through web search only. So there is a difference now. And then you select the one accordingly. If it can be found through Google search as well as Google image search, then you can say Google search and then say Google search. You can do that. So I'm not going to tell you which one to choose because that will differ according to the image we're talking about. So let's go back and let's just select Google Images. Here it says, you know what? Okay, you want us to take a look at this and remove that image, but make sure you have explored other options in terms of contacting the website owner. Rank Your YouTube channel has created a video in terms of how to find the details of a domain name owner. 
because sometimes some websites do not have contact information. So then here we have our options now. The first two are usually not utilized. Probably it's not appropriate for you either. That's probably for concerned citizens. They see an image, they think, you know what? That image shouldn't be in Google or it should not be found through Google services or products then we have something else the website owner has removed it but it can still be found in google do not select this if you have contacted the website owner and they have removed the image then allow google a week or two or even a month to update its database because if the image is removed from the website in question as in the website that has published the image, then even though you may find that image from Google then, perhaps a day later the image was deleted, rest assured that Google will remove that image from Google search. That means you don't really need to use the second option here. Okay, If you're a European Union citizen, then you select right to be forgotten. And then create a request accordingly because now you have different options because you are a EU citizen but if not then we have different options here defamation it could be a mugshot example it could be a previous conviction that you have already paid for whether you, you were found guilty or not that could be defamation. So Rankia cannot provide legal information. This tutorial is for guideline only. I'm just showing you what you can do when you have explored other options and that image or a photo still can be found. Google being Google following the law and it obeys the law, which is great for us. Now we have different options. Defamation may be the case for the image we're talking about or a photo you want removed. It could be a photo that someone is using, but it's copyrighted. So you can get that image removed as well. Although Rank Your Blog publishes images, sometimes I may include copyrighted information for a particular image and use techniques to tell Google not to index that image. And yet if someone takes that and publishes it on their own site, infringing my copyright, then I would select, you know what? There's an image someone is using, it's copyrighted to me. I have used techniques to tell search engines like Google Let's say this particular image using Photoshop, I can go to file info. Within that, I can provide copyright information and Google image search engine obeys with that notice as well. Makes sense. So that could be an option for me if that image I'm talking about is copyrighted and someone else is publishing it, but they have no rights to do so then I would select that. Okay, so now I can say, okay, how about something else? How about it is a other legal issue? Now that could cover wide spectrum of legal matters. So I cannot really, you know, tell you to, you know, use this here because it could be according to a specific image, okay? It could be, let's say, nudity of a minor, which is terrible to see, to even look at. But if someone has published a photo of your child and that child is under 18 years old, then you as the parent or guardian have the right to tell Google, you know what, Google? There is an image and that's a legal issue. And Google is very strict when it comes to content policies. So now let's go back to see. So we have selected Google images. 
with we have options here i can't tell you which one to choose but let's say it's a defamation let's create a request so now we understand google terms of service and their policies now i can say okay how about moving forward to remove that image we have a form to fill out select the country provide your full name if you're acting on behalf of a business or a company for example then you may provide that here and you provide your contact email address infringing urls are urls that the image is at and that is when you search google whether it's google search let's say here let's say there is an image somewhere it comes from let's say facebook it comes from even twitter or pinterest or anywhere else the url is let's say let's grab this facebook this rank is on facebook as well with over 100,000 followers so then i can say okay it can be found through here but let's imagine this is the image we're talking about it can be found through facebook if that's the case this is the url infringing url is this in this example and that could go okay terms used they're the keywords in this example i can say rank in this and read through this i'm not going to go through them okay alleged infringing content can be found from here that's one let's then say okay how about when we search google images and we can find an image there i can press on that image infringing url let's have a look let's share this click to copy link let's click link is copied now next line i can keep doing that as in wherever the image can be found you provide that information read through all what's shown here okay i've made a mistake allegedly infringing urls are these okay i placed two in there which i should not have okay let's just delete that let's grab this here add that additional additional field in this example let's copy the link again Control c and i can keep adding more 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 so wherever the image can be found as in whichever url then you provide that information the terms can be however the image can be found if it's your personal name you provide that too okay then simply read through read through sign it and then submit you provide as much information as possible you need to be thorough or else google will not in most cases it will not remove that image you need to keep a record of all the interactions that you may have with the website owner for example you've sent an email requesting removal at certain date keep a record of that if they responded keep a record of that okay because all that is going to help you to remove your photo or an image from google once again definitely check out this blog post because within it i share a little bit different tips that i cannot share on ranker youtube channel also ranker has created a private course in hope that it will help those who do not understand how google policies work i thank you very much for learning with ranker if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like or if you've got any questions or comments use the video commenting system and i'll talk with you in the next 
video session.